gold prices could go as high as 72,000 rupees per 10 grams this year, driven by global queues and domestic demand, according to experts. Bullion surged rupees 800 to hit a fresh record high of rupees 65,000 per 10 grams in India on Tuesday. The current rally is fueled by expectations of a Federal Reserve rate cuts spurred by easing price pressures within the US economy. Persistent geopolitical tensions and the continued accumulation of gold reserves by central banks across the world have further bolstered the prices. Gold prices and interest rates generally tend to have an inverse correlation. When rates go up, it makes other investment options like bonds more attractive than the precious metal and vice versa. Thus, investors typically start buying gold ahead of rate cuts. It is expected that the US Federal Reserve might cut interest rates in the coming few months. In Delhi, Bengaluru and Chennai, 24 karat gold was selling at 65,290, 65,140 and 65,900 rupees respectively. While 10 grams of 22 karat gold in Mumbai was same as in Kolkata and Hyderabad at almost 60,000 rupees. Over the last two years, major central banks across the world have been buying gold and driving up its prices. From the RBI to People's Bank of China to the Russian Central Bank. Geopolitical tensions and economic uncertainty are prime reasons why most of the central banks are holding the original and the most tangible currency of the world. For the uninitiated, gold is the original currency of the world and was an economic asset used to back currencies including the dollar. In 1971, then US President Richard Nixon had dealing dollar with gold, making it the default currency of the world. But even today, traders, corporations and central banks and even common retail investors consider gold to be the safest asset across the world. In fact, here in India, post the RBI ban on IIFL gold loans, other gold companies like Muthut Finance and Mannapuram Gold have started rallying. Demand for gold loans, gold ETFs and physical gold have been increasing consistently. So, will you buy gold assets going forward? Please let us know in the comment section.